We recently got to meet one of our subscribers on YouTube online and found out that Chris makes a product called the Garden Tool Caddy. And we thought it would be great to get one and show it to you because I think those of you who are garden trainers would find it an interesting tool to use outdoor. We got the Garden Caddy. We also got the optional wall mount and an optional carrying strap. So let's take a look at the product. It's made out of heavy plastic and it's very nicely designed. There are no sharp edges at all so you don't have to worry about getting pinched or cut. The nice part about it, it's round and square at the same time. In other words, on one edge it's rounded so you can actually snap this onto a trash can that we can show you later and on the other side it's flat or square because some of us do have trash cans that are square. So it's very well designed with a lot of different places to put tools. And if you take a look, you can see that there's small holes, big holes, and larger holes. Those holes can be used for, let's say, a drink or a cell phone. And the different sizes of holes allow you to put different types of things in it. There's a large center area that's about 5 inches by 11 inches, and it will store a lot of different things. It uses these adjustable level tabs that snap into place to keep your caddy level when you attach it to a trash can or to, let's say, a wheelbarrow. Here we pulled out the tab, we attached the lip to the trash can, and then pushed the adjusting level until it was tight. It only took a few seconds to install this and was easy. We found that you could put a lot of different things in the different holes and a lot of thought was given. Around uh, Post Falls, Idaho, we're always uh, keeping our hornet spray nearby. We put some uh, water into a, a second container. We could put our clipper, gloves. Uh, we started to put our garden tools in it and we realized that, you know, it's, it's not just gardening tools, but you could also put other types of tools in as well. Uh, we were going to work on a sprinkler project, so we were able to put the sprinkler there so it wouldn't get lost. One of our solar lights was broken so we could put that in there to replace it. We happened to find two of our missing telephone poles so we put them in there so when we would go outside we remember to reinstall them and we even found that you could clip uh, a measuring tape onto the side of the unit as well. So it worked well at having all of those things in it. We got the optional shoulder strap assembly because we thought that, you know, it might be nice to be able to carry this similar to the way that uh, you might carry tools in a bucket. Well, we were very pleased with the quality of the strap. The webbing was very well made and we didn't have any problems at all in putting the strap on. I don't know if you've ever fought with those smaller camera straps, but it can take a lot of effort. Here we found that we just followed the directions, looped it through, put it through the garden tool caddy, looped it back, and it was secure. And then to do the other side, we made sure that there wasn't a twist in the shoulder strap because that just bothers the heck out of me. So once we got it straight, we did the exact same thing. We looped it through the shoulder strap piece, then back through the garden tool caddy and back around. Just go ahead and get the strap installed and then you can adjust it later. We found that we wanted to adjust it higher so that it would sit up more on our hip when we carried it and we found it was very easy to adjust and get it to the position we needed. So I'd really uh, take a look at also ordering this. It'll give you a little bit more versatility to the unit as it gives you another option of not just attaching it to a device, but allowing you to carry it to your work area from the garage. The last item that we got was the optional wall attachment. And this is actually a rather simple and unique idea. It's basically just a piece of metal that attaches to the wall so you can take your tool caddy and have a nice home for it. It's very, very easy to install because all you have to do is find a suitable location, screw one end into the wall, and then of course level it. Now the hardware to attach it to the wall is not provided, but we just use some standard screws and we have this three-quarter inch backing on the side of our wall in our outbuilding. So we leveled it, attached a screw to the other end. Now there are a lot of holes in here, but I don't think you need to put a screw in every single one. So we attached two more kind of near the middle and it was installed. So we found the installation of this very, very simple and it makes it versatile because whenever you need your garden tool caddy, it's ready, take off the wall, use your shoulder strap and you can carry it to the place that you're working. 
The garden tool caddy will be versatile in your garden, whether you have a garden train or not. But if you do have a garden train, you can put your gardening implements as well as train items inside to work on your railroad. We'd give it two thumbs up, and plus it's available in six different colors. We talked with Chris at Garden Tool Caddy, and we negotiated a 10% discount for those of you who have watched this video. So take a look at the screen. There's the web address, the discount code, and the discount that you'll receive if you use that code. Thanks so much for watching the video, and we hope that you enjoy using your Garden Tool Caddy as much as we will enjoy using ours.